to another vlog. We are exploring Central Park today and I am in the Upper West Side with Brody. It's a Sunday, gorgeous out. It's like a high of 72 degrees and we're gonna spend a day in the Upper West Side. I am in the 80s right now, so it's like a lot of Gilded Age, like beautiful brownstones. I wanna check out a couple different cafes and maybe Zabar's. Zay bars don't hate me if I butchered this and then I also brought like a little picnic blanket so we can set up so let's go find a spot in Central Park little grass pad it's called the great lawn i guess i accidentally went up like way too far north i was trying to get to sheep's meadow which is more of like a giant outdoor grass area but i got lost and then one of the like park rangers was like oh just go to the great lawn it's kind of like sheep's meadow but like smaller and i actually like it a lot better because it's not as like big and busy but this is basically what it looks like i uh, brought my little picnic blanket this thing is like a lifesaver during summer so highly recommend it so we moved grass pads because the other ones was like on a slant and i could feel the rock on the bottom and then also like it wasn't really hitting the sun so we moved the grass pad over here brody's having the time of his life and here's like the view. We are on West 80th Street and Broadway and we're going to, I'm gonna butcher the name, Sabars. It's like one of the oldest Jewish grocery stores and it's on the Upper West Side and I'm really hungry. It's there's like this takeout window, but I want to go inside and Brody's kind of dying. Just ordered a salmon sandwich bagel or a lox bagel sandwich. It was $16. Pretty standard. I hope the bagel is still good because it's kind of like the end of the day. Also, saw macaroons when I was inside. So I had to try it. There is a raspberry one, pistachio, and then also a vanilla. And now I want to try the raspberry one. Mmm, pretty good. I also got this smoked whitefish dip. It's different from the whitefish salad, so I don't know if it's gonna be any different. And then I got this uncured salami. And I'm kind of sad, I got this sourdough bread and it kind of tastes like shit. It's like the end of the day bread. So it's kind of dry, but live you learn. Bread's just not as good here as it is in Europe. My sandwich sitting on this little area. I think that was the best salmon or lox bagel I've had in New York City or period. Like the bagel wasn't the best bagel I've ever had, the bagel part, but the lox, oh my God. It was like the salmon was like this like juicy fat salmon. It was perfectly smoked. The ingredients were really high quality. Cream cheese, so soft. Highly, highly recommend Zabar's lox sandwich. If it was to mix with Brooklyn bagels, bagels with Zabar's, perfect. All right, now we're in a cab and we're heading over to Adriana's boyfriend's apartment. Peters and it just so happened I picked up all the stuff 
because he's having us over for drinks. Save the other two macaroons for them. There's always like the cab radio running and I don't feel for it. But don't you ever feel like walking around with a baguette is such a vibe? I'm back in my apartment. I just took a shower and like got ready for bed But I wanted to end the vlog here and just like give my thoughts on my day in the Upper West Side I really liked it. I have actually been spending more time there. The last time I was up there It was the heat wave like two weeks ago and I didn't vlog it because I was with like a newer friend and I just didn't really want to bring that onto a newer friend but i've been really liking the upper west side i feel like the upper west side isn't as stuffy as the upper east side and i really like it one because the streets are wider because the upper west side just uptown in general was built later in new york history because they started building farther north away from the 30s which is like where it was most popular in the gilded age and like the gilded age is like when we'll start building these huge mansions near Central Park, which is a whole different other story. So anyways, it's just like a little more, it's modern up there, but not gross modern. The streets are wider. I also feel like it's just cleaner up there. Downtown's really fun, don't get me wrong, but it's also just like more crammed. The streets are smaller. It's an older part of the town. And I just, I'm tired of seeing graffiti and I just don't feel like there's a lot of graffiti in the Upper West Side. There's also not as many crazy people running around, if you know what I mean. I also feel feel like the Upper West Side is mixed with half young families starting out and also people that are working professionals that aren't just right out of college. And I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now is I just turned 31 and I'm not like fresh out of college, but I'm also not like someone who's just wanting to go out all the time in their 20s, which I feel like downtown is. And I think it's nice to also just be farther away from the scene. I used to never want to live uptown just because I feel like it takes forever to get downtown where I want to hang out. It takes like maybe 30 minutes if the trains are running like door to door, I guess. And if they're not running, it could take probably more than that. But I'm not even commuting to work. I'm working from home. So there's that part is I don't really have to worry about it. Also, I really love Central Park. I feel like the parks downtown are a little more like rowdy and in Central Park it's just peaceful. Certain parts of Central Park that are obviously more touristy like if you're closer to the entrance from the south end but I entered from I feel like 81st earlier and if I kept walking over to where I was I felt like it was pretty residential and it was really nice and I'm just like really peaceful up there so I definitely want to like just like feel it out and like test out more things maybe what I need is just a change in neighborhoods so I just wanted to drop that down here also like if I live in the Upper West Side most likely I would probably have an elevator doorman because most of those buildings are built later and if I do have a walk up like those buildings are beautiful and you just get more space uptown so that's something I want to think about Thanks for coming along with me for my vlog of the Upper West Side. I am going to start doing more like experiences and like taking you guys through New York. I'm just going to be like it and just start vlogging in public in New York because when I was in Paris and I didn't care, but I also didn't understand French. So I didn't know if someone was making fun of me or not, but we're just going to channel that energy. You guys have a great night or morning whenever you guys are watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.